Okie dokes. Hello, I see we are joined by our new partners. Let's give a couple of seconds for everyone to join and then we will start. Yep, yep. Just... All right, I think we are set. Um, yeah. We can start. Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, we will be holding the session for uh, Gizma admissions and uh, requirements. And it is great to see you among us. Uh, thank you for taking your time to uh, join us today. I am here today joined by uh, Linda, and she agreed to be the co-host uh, mm -hmm. of today's session. Uh, Linda, thank you for joining. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Guru. It's always a pleasure, you know, to get to have these webinars with our partners. So yeah, it's exciting. Always, likewise. I am uh, the host of the session today, and uh, my name is Guru, your community manager. And um, here on the screen, uh, you see uh, my uh, contact address, and also you see Linda's contact address. So any questions you have in mind, please feel free to reach out to us after the session. And uh, for uh, the um, things that I can help you with as a really... Um, on a greater scale, on the marketing end, on the um, digital campaign end, or on the uh, anything you uh, can come up with about gas, that if you have a problem, <laughs> please uh, feel free to reach out. And anything regarding Gizma, especially how amazing and special it is, and what people can uh, do more uh, for their audiences, for these students, and any questions regarding the processes or any um, in vital information that you're seeking, Linda is your go-to person. So without further ado, Linda, we are really excited today to learn more about Gizmo because we have been talking about Gizmo for so long that yeah, how yeah. amazing this destination uh, Germany, how uh, many things this destination offers for international students. And on top of that, Gizma as an institution is a very unique one and yeah. just making itself um, stand out um, compared to other private institutions in Germany. So we are today here to learn more on those ends and yeah. especially learn about the admission processes and yeah. what are the requirements for uh, Gizma uh, to um, like accept our students and and just tailor their future for that yeah. day. Yeah, so, yeah. Could you please tell us about Gizma a little bit? Yeah, so I'd like to say thank you uh, for to our partners who have joined already. Um, it's really great to always have you here. And yeah, thank you, Guru. Um, so straight into it, um, Gizma, what makes Gizma really special is, is, is the first thing is that um, our courses are, uh, you know, accredited. And so you can see that we have the AMBA accreditation, which is a sign for innovation and excellence. So you, you'd, 
when you are when you are you're, you're trying to apply to school or you're choosing a school, you're looking at some of the accreditations that they have, and of course. Um, we stand for innovation and excellence, and we do not, you know, um, um, joke around with these things. Again, we provide a highly uh, innovative content. Um, there's no way that you, you know, the, the world, I keep saying that the world is changing. We are moving towards AI, and now AI could possibly do anything for you. And so we, 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 are, we try to include the dynamism in, in, in our studies. Again, when it comes to um, universities in Germany, we have some of the most international campus you could ever think of. So you can think of um, anywhere in the world, any nationality, and you would find someone on Gizma campus. And it's really exciting because then you get to socialize, you get to learn about other cultures, because of course, you've moved all the way from your country to come to Germany. And you want to have that interaction and, you know, get to learn about other people. So it's an exciting, um, you know, place to get to learn about other people. Again, we work with very key industry partners um, to help with, with, with our teaching. And so you find that um, we have key partners that will help in integrate um, um, the practicality into our studies. You would have your courses to be very practical, they are hands-on. And so it's not all over the place, it's not just in your mind. You, you can see what is being taught, you can understand what is being taught. And, and that is really helpful for the student because um, um, they, they, get, they get to the job market knowing exactly what you know to do and not that they are still figuring out what they have, they've been taught in the classroom. You know, So that is really good uh, uh, for, for our students um, at Gesma University. Again, we have state-of-the-art high-flex teaching and learning, and our, our Potsdam campus is really um, a place to be, you know, it's such an experience as a student to be studying on our Potsdam campus. It gives you the real student experience, you know, on campus. And then again, we are also very modern, so we are very young university and very modern, so you can think of anything that makes as young and you find that we are right there for you. So these are very key and important reasons why, you know, students should choose to come to Gizma University. Wow, Linda, you've spoken about this campus very good and very well. I wonder what it looks like. So <laughs> yeah. I'm just imagining some kind of a building um, exactly. Oh, yeah, more or less something like this. <laughs> That's a really modern uh, building, and actually, uh, as you very well put, it has many availabilities, and um, actually, it is surrounded with many recent technologies, which yeah. enables students to uh, have a clearer and more in-depth um, information and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, cool. It is it is the main campus and it is located to um as a located in the heart of Potsdam. And more yep. uh it is uh, vital to say, I think, that uh, it is in the uh, hub of a technology uh environment. Um to my knowledge, it is really close to SAP. I think it was one of the pictures that I saw that from the window of Gizma Postum Campus, you can see the SAP um, General Center uh, headquarters yeah. in uh, Germany. So it is really impressive to have that kind of a location in the arm distance to uh, many uh, sector leaders. So um, yeah. the um, teaching style aside, Gizma has many uh, sessions uh, throughout the year, um, yeah. enabling professionals, um, sector leaders to come and teach at this very campus uh, and be the uh, top leaders for future generations. So it is really unique for Gizma to have those kind of contacts and uh, enable their students uh, before the graduation those can, kind mm -hmm. of environments where they can uh, meet with sector leaders, have their visions, 
perhaps speak with them and many of them uh, to my knowledge is actually uh, haunted and uh, you know they had haunted thing and they are coming to the campus and seeing the bright uh, students and then taking them to their um, employing them to their uh, jobs and um, giving an opportunity to show themselves. So uh, not even the internship, but um, some kind of job possibilities arise there. So it is uh, kind of a dream of every student, even exactly. before graduation, you are meeting <laughs> with sector leaders, having the peace of their minds and knowing the gist of, of what the future could be. And just to have the air of that uh, experience is something in, really unique. Exactly, exactly. You've said everything as, as well. So um, um, and I guess my really is a place to be. It gives you all the um, you know, advantages as a student, what you need, you know, you know, on the on to, to to join the job market. So it's exciting. Exactly. So why don't we take a look uh, for the inner uh, side of this uh, beautiful uh, building? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think that went very fast. So uh, <laughs> actually, uh, this is the uh, general uh, view of the campus from the inside. You yeah. can hear the interiors. And I think it is really like with the big and just uh, gives you that kind of a space that you can find yourself. And actually, uh, the uh, yeah. ah, yes, this is the, this is the picture that I was talking about. See, from <laughs> the window. Of this one. I was wondering why I have seen that. All right, this is this is the one. So just to reach of an arm. Perfect. <laughs> so um Linda, this is actually you are seeing Stefan Stein, right? President of Gizma here. Yes. Uh, he's yes. a really, really nice and um uh, actually have he has the kind of a communication with students that I heard none of the presidents has because exactly. um, he's part of lectures, he's having some one-on-one um, -on -one conversations with students and one of our sessions he was talking about that there's a kind of a uh, connection with the students and the, uh, the institution that yeah. um, the students actually see they, this place, Gizma, as their home and, and the exactly. staff and the um, responsibles and academics, yeah. their family. It is, I think, yeah. really important if you are uh, studying um, as an international student and if you are really far away from home, uh, why mm -hmm. to find some people to like have that kind of an understanding and relationship, right? So Absolutely. actually, we are seeing, yeah, over here, this is a kind of, uh, this is the, um, plus environment and you see everywhere that this is a um really uh well equipped class and yeah. actually um gizma calls it smart uh classes so what does that yeah. mean that means uh, that there are cameras everywhere which enables students who couldn't participate to Gizma physically, who couldn't be there and um, receive classes in German campus, in Potsdam campus, can have the classes on their uh, own, at their home, uh, with the comfort of their room, perhaps, and actually... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The classes. Yeah. That, and that is really great because it, it gives students the opportunity to, for instance, start their studies online. So, for instance, someone is having problems with their visa for some reason, they, 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 they have the opportunity to start online. And this is really a good advantage because you can think of it as a way of saving you some money because if you were on campus, yeah. then you'd be spending some money on rent, on some groceries here and there. Exactly. But starting online gives you the opportunity to still be in, your, in the comfort of your home. You're studying, you're getting the same quality. I can tell you for that, that you're getting the same quality. You're getting um, that same interaction with your professors. 
and um, um, eventually you still join your colleagues, you know, um, on campus. So it's really a good opportunity for our students um, that we give to our students to to have the, the same kind of experience and um, quality of uh, learning, especially if they have some issues with their visa. So it's yeah, a really good opportunity. Yeah. Um, we will be talking more on this high flex um, environment in uh, pretty soon. But uh, the uh, important thing to remind that it is not not a um, end of the world situation if your students couldn't get their visas because uh, what we have learned uh, while we were having a pandemic. <laughs> Uh, that actually uh, it is something that can be managed to have their courses and also uh, also attain the um, opportunities of Gizma, what it provides. So um, exactly. if, you, if you have students that couldn't uh, get their visas on time, it is not a big issue. They can start online. And then afterwards, yeah. when they are issued with their visa, they can uh, come to Boston campus, come to Germany and participate in the uh, rest of the uh, courses um, and uh, rest of the program. And what exactly. is a great thing to remind here, actually, um, is, yes, we know that Germany has, uh, as a destination, as a country, has kind of a uh, work and study option. So uh, yeah. your students can come over here and while they are studying their courses, they can have uh, a job, uh, which is actually 20 uh, hours uh, a week. And, yes. and in this 20 hours, let's say your uh, student couldn't get visa on time and her or his um, program starts at uh, October and perhaps uh, he couldn't um, join to the uh, program until January. So what happens, uh, that three months that he, uh, or two months that he couldn't join um, will be added as extra working hours availability when he comes to the country. So uh, students lose nothing. <laughs> and that's that's actually, excellent. <laughs> it's a win-win. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, they taught everything about it. That, that's what I love about Germany they are so like to the point thinking everything from A to Z so um, we are strongly uh, recommending online starting online and yeah. um, it is better to keep in mind if you have any uh, students uh, coming across the, those kind of uh, problems or anything and if you have any further questions upon it, you can always reach out to us to ask more. Without further ado, I really want to talk about the greatness of Gizma. Why, Linda, those accreditations are so important, so unique, so special? What is what is this accreditation thing that Gizma has so many? And <laughs> Gizma, that's why Gizma is regarded as such a beautiful and such a great place to study. Yeah, so Guru, you know, <laughs> you just made me have a very funny thought. For instance, if you wanted to buy um, a product on the market, especially food, you would mm. really want to make sure that um, your the, the organization that checks food, so maybe in, in Ghana, let's say the Food and Drugs Authority would have checked that everything about this product, you know, is good for consumption. <laughs> so it's um, basically the same thing that, <laughs> wow. It's basically the same thing um, for for every institution. Accreditations are very important because um, it it shows that, for instance, um, for instance, Gesma University has the state recognition. It means that for for Gesma University, when you go to Germany, you would know that the state recognizes Gesma University as a full university that has authority to, you know. Um, teach the courses that they are teaching. So th this is very important, as well as the um, Gizma University also does have its internal um, accreditation. So in the, in, in the university itself, we also make sure that we are keeping the standards that 
we ought to to give to our students you know so when it comes to the courses we are teaching you know the quality the kind of professors that we have these are really important and it shows that we think about our students and we think about the quality that we are putting out there aside that we are FIBA accredited and FIBA really um um stands for um, excellence as well. And so again, you would want to be associated with excellence and, 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 and that is something that we, we are giving to our students. Again, we have that AMBA accreditation, which is our favorite. <laughs> our, global <laughs> MBA, <laughs> our global MBA course is AMBA accredited. And this is, this is really a great thing because um, in the whole world, it's just 2% of universities that have this accreditation. So you can imagine that when it comes to mm -hmm. um, our MBA course, the excellence with which we, we, we teach our course is, is unbeatable. And so of course, when it comes to our global MBA, it's also quite competitive and we really require the best students to apply. <laughs> <laughs> Minda, so, yeah. so exciting. I will be dying yeah. to uh, hear more on this uh, MBA, accredited MBA. But uh, yeah. it is a really nice uh, example that you have given. So you are buying a product and you want to check if it is compliant with everything. Like it is healthy, it, is, it, should, it is the best thing to consume for your body and health. So actually, this is for, uh, let's take it, Gizma as an institution and as an entity. So this means uh, Gizma is accredited by the German government which is really <laughs> hard government it really um, has many um, levels of approvals and procedures and it is really hard to get those kind of accreditations from uh, yeah. very strict government. So yeah. to my knowledge, it is not only Gizmo, but also, yes, the courses and also the academics are accredited. So yeah. this is really uh, important, I think. And this is where the success and the uh, the uh, importance of them comes. Because um, in the sector, nearly uh, in the job market of Germany, Gizma is known mm -hmm. uh, for its reputation. Mm -hmm. And it is actually yeah. a true thing that Gizma has kind of a influence on the uh job giver so uh i can clearly understand this is the basis of the education and uh, the quality of education that is provided so it is uh, always really uh impressive to like stand this out to the students yeah. as well i think yeah. and i i think there's more something like families would be interested in life in the <laughs> not <laughs> Family, yeah, that will give you big disinformation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very important. So for like, like I said, if you were going to eat somewhere, you'd want to make sure that, uh, you know, they've been checked, they've, they've gone through all the standard, you know, checks and, and, and you'd want to really do that for yourself. <laughs> exactly. This is more than the standard. Perfect. Yeah. So what about this great bachelor programs that is known that is really famous for Gizma. Yeah, we know international business management since Gizma was initially a business school. It is really yeah. famous. And my personal favorite, data science, AI, and digital business. That is really <laughs> great. And I know it is your personal favorite as well. Yeah, that and makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest, we have many new uh, programs and courses. Um, could you please give us more uh, elaboration on those? Yes, 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 yes. So um, like you already mentioned, uh, we have our international business management and then our data science, AI and digital business, which we share interest in. <laughs> and then our new, our really new courses, which are um, computer science and software engineering. And, you know, I, I like to say this a lot because um, Gizma is a university of applied sciences. And so you can you can think about every sense of practicality of the course. You're, you're not gonna be, uh, you know, just having a, th a theoretical experience. You're gonna have mm -hmm. hands-on experience uh, on these courses. And they've, they've really uh, uh, bring students, you know, um, um, exactly what they need to know about these courses, especially because like I said, we also have industry partnerships. And so we know what 
the employers are looking for. And that's exactly what we are giving the students so that there's always that balance over there. Um, and then we have our business management courses that have the different um, specializations. So we have business management and human resources. We have business management and finance, marketing, logistics, entrepreneurship. And these are really great courses, I tell you. You would, you would really want your students who are interested in um, the business sector to, to really look at these courses. So I, I love I love the, the way our courses are, 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 are you know, scheduled. Oh, that is really impressive. Very well put. Yeah. In the, actually, this is applied sciences is something really, really unique because like you wouldn't, I know many of the universities, uh, especially government uh, universities in Germany, are more on research based, more theoretical. Yes, you know yeah. something about the um, about you, you learn a lot, but you don't have yeah. the opportunity to like um, reflect what you have learned to the to your job or to the tasks. That yeah. You, are going to be provided uh, or going to be asked by the employee of your future yeah. employee. So it is exactly. really important. It, it is really nice to know. And it's a good point that um, uh, actually uh, at Gizma students have that kind of an opportunity to, to learn, to explore, to uh, apply. So uh, what about the situation in master programs right so again we have really exciting master's programs as you can see um, um the courses are sort of similar so the bachelor's courses are are you know um it, it sort of runs through the master's program so that of course if you want to um you know upgrade from your bachelor's you can directly move on. you don't have to go to another university <laughs> so we have our masters <laughs> in international business management that our, our favorite data science ai and digital business and you know guru i really like i like data science ai because like i keep saying the world is moving and you know if you're on social media a lot these days you see that AI is taking over, is doing things, <laughs> and then it's gonna be replacing, it's gonna be replacing <laughs> human beings soon. So it's better we get our students to to you know get to get to put themselves in a very vantage place where they can take advantage of um, um, these trends. So it's, uh, that's why I really like AI, data science, AI, and digital business. You know. Yeah, and you're one hundred percent right. Uh, the, the the world <laughs> is changing, pivoting to somewhere else. Exactly. And yeah. We have ChatGPT and removing uh, the necessary <laughs> job, but it is important to be the brain who yeah. would like. Um, like uh, be the engineer of those, right? So exactly. those programs really fresh exactly. as well. Absolutely, yeah. And then our um, Master of Engineering in Computer Science, which um, is also a new program. And then again, for our master's program, we do have the um, a Master of Business Management with the different um, um, specializations to choose. So if you're interested in human resource, finance, marketing, um, um, logistics, and then cybersecurity, this is perfect for you and of course your students. So um, this is really exciting and we can always um, promote these courses to our students. When, when you think about, or when, when the student comes to you about business or IT, just think about Gizma because we are best at this and, and we are giving the students the best experience they could ever have. So that's about it. <laughs> Very well put, Lima. <laughs> so, um, yeah. what, uh, so our partners come across some students and they're thinking about Gizma and what they should think when they are interviewing the um, uh, students. Um, regarding what are the program facts that that they will think that oh okay this student is um, eligible for this program kind of a yeah. approach yeah yeah so the, there are some basic facts about the courses that we have so um the the, the courses run either full-time or part-time or blended learning and so, like we said, you can always have um, study online and then you join on campus, which is totally uh, fine. 
And then um, all the courses that we have mentioned here are um, taught at our Potsdam campus, um, both bachelor's and master's. And then for our bachelor's course, it runs for a duration of 36 months. So that's three years. And then um, our master's also runs for both 24 months and 12 months. So that's two years and um, one year. There are some um, um, prerequisites for both the two years and one year. So we'll talk about that a bit soon. And then um, we, we run our courses um, from January. We have, so you can apply in January, you can apply to study in April, July and October. And so at this moment you can um, you can apply for October so that you can, it gives you time to prepare. And then we do have a foundation program also, um, um, which runs for 12 months. So usually when you apply for this course, admission team would recommend if you need to have a foundation added to your program, depending on your, uh, um, um, your background. So maybe after they have reviewed your documents, they can suggest that, hey, we think you need um, the foundation just to boost you up, you know, to help you um, um, catch up with the team. So that's it about our uh, bachelor's. So now, um, like I was saying, our master's course runs for um, both a year and two. And so for students who are eligible for the one year program would have had a, a four years bachelor's degree and they qualify for the one year program. Students who had for instance, a three-year bachelor's degree and, you know, with, with no work experience, they would go for the 24 months or the two years, again, because it, they would have to just gap, that they um, bridge that gap and then bring them up to par. So that's the difference um, um, between the 24 months or the two and the one year um, duration. And then master's of programs also run from January, April, July, and October. And sometimes students would also be um, recommended to take the pre-masters. Again, looking at the students' backgrounds, they may have to, you know, take up the courses to help them, you know, to succeed. All of these things is to help the students to succeed. I know sometimes the students feels like, oh, hey, I don't want to do the long years. Yeah, but it's only for six months, and it's just to help the students to do well <laughs> in 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 school. So you you also have to think about the fact that you're moving from a different educational system to another and so the pre-masters really is an advantage for the students and not like to keep them you know um, um, spending more time in school so that's um, the, the few things that we need to know about the bachelors and masters now when it comes to our um, favorite MBA program it's <laughs> it's for 12 months and also runs from January, April, July, and October. Uh, however, for M our MBA, we require our students um, to have a minimum of three years work experience. It's very important to us. And if you're less, if you're short of the three years, unfortunately, you may have to, you know, do that, close that gap before you apply. But our uh, it, that's really uh, about our, our global MBA course. Yeah, so that's that's it about the key um, facts about our programs. Uh, thank you, Linda. That was really uh, detailed. Uh, and um, for further questions, if you uh, if our partners would have any, um, they can like directly contact you, and perhaps they have these special cases for their students. Perhaps they want to ask something. Uh, we will be giving our contact details at the end of the session as well. And please don't uh, forget, don't don't hold back to ask our questions uh, from the uh, chat. I hear, I see one. Um, Dr. Helius, and then we will be addressing those at the end. And um, yeah. what about the requirements for yeah. um, the documents that a student might need? Linda, could you please tell us more on that? Yes, 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 absolutely. So um, when you, when you, once your student is ready to apply, you, you need to let them know the documents that we need. And, and these are very um, regular documents that um, I'm sure you all are very familiar with. 
And so we require um, um, the, the bio data page of the student's passport. Um, for the application um, portal, you need a passport picture. So, you know, the usual passport pictures that we take and then um, the student's transcript. So if they are applying for a bachelor's, we need their secondary school transcripts and then their certificates. So if it's NECO, it's YEC, um, IG, I, IGCSE, all of that, we need the certificate. And then a CV, so just to um, show us the timelines um, of the student, um, probably they completed school, they have done um, one or two internships, you need to just let us know the, those timelines. And then proof of English language is really important. Um, I, I always say that, <clears throat> I know our students do not like IELTS. When they hear IELTS, they want to run away. <laughs> but please, please don't let them run away. Encourage them, let them know that we do have an internal English um, test that they would have to write. Of course, after they have received their conditional offer. So at least they have their offer to you know, show for, for, for it. So um, proof of English is also really important. And then last but not least, um, our motivational letter. Um, I, I, I keep saying that this is also very simple. It's usually just a one pager. Uh, you just need to be make sure that you mention the particular course that the student wants to study. So if the student is interested in BSc Computer Science, you have to make sure that you mention BSc Computer Science at the Potsdam campus. You also need to make sure you mention the campus. It's very important to us. And then, of course, a few reasons why um, students should come to uh, Gizma or why they chose to come to Gizma, which we have shared so many reasons. <laughs> And then we, you, you also want to really make sure that the, court, the, the, um, the documents are scanned really clearly. Of, so if you cannot see it, of course, you, you, you should know that the admission team may not be able to see it. So please make sure that the documents are really um, scanned clearly and they, they are legible and, 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 and we should be good to go. So these are the basic requirements that um, are required for the MBA. We still uh, we would require um, a, a reference letter, and so that is that's about it. Yeah. All right. Um, that was really uh, fruitful, Linda. Actually, um, yeah. This is not something like more than uh, any uh, any private institution is looking for. Motivational letter is really really important for admission team to like clearly understand which uh, yeah. program the student applies for and how eager they are to get their places and yeah. um, and how they know about Gizma so uh, yeah. why they choose Gizma and uh, actually that is um, you already put very well I just want yeah. to uh, remind our partners lastly that there are yeah. some steps that we should take uh, and uh, Afterwards, we will go uh, deep dive the questions because I see that they, and there are many. Yeah, even that's uh, great news. And uh, actually, uh, what I want to tell our partners more on, I know um, most of our audience today is uh, the partner of Kizma, but yeah. uh, if there are, uh, there's anyone who haven't started uh, their partnership with Gizma, it is time to do so. So actually, um, it is as easy uh, just to uh, go into the um, website uh, address that you are screening on the um, left side of the screen here. Yeah. And it is gasgateway.com. And if you are a tech saver person uh, and you uh, would like to like have the shortcut, uh, here you see on the right side of screen a QR code that will take you directly to the uh, gas gateway through your mobiles. Actually, uh, sending application to uh, Gizma is uh, relatively easy because, as you know, uh, GAS has a portal, GAS Gateway portal, and you can just easily, on the left side, you screen create application button, and then you press that one, actually, um, 
it's just uh, up to some uh, easy couple of steps and you choose gizma and then the uh, portal asks for some credentials uh, that uh, you would uh, provide and the important thing is not to uh, make uh, those uh, applications wait because as you know uh, the gizma uh, went to some changes and on the portal we are making some changes and it is important for you to have your documents uh, completely uh, uploaded to the portal that might be a reference that might be your business clients but at the end of the day those um, up uploading those and taking confirmation from uh, the team that's um, global partners team might take a while so uh, if you will have some prospective student uh, in the near future uh, you wouldn't want to like make them wait just for your uh, credentials and for your uh, for the completion of your um, partnership so it is always um, a great way to uh, apply today and then it is time to start sending your applications to be ready is a gold point. So right now we are at the most exciting part of the session. So here you see on the screen our uh, contact details. Uh, you can uh, reach out to Linda regarding your questions and if you, we cannot uh, reply many of them. <laughs> and let me remind, we will have another session uh, next week at the 31st of May, the last day of May. And I will connect from here to Dr. Julio's question about the visa processes, uh, because this session next week will be about visa processes and we will have yeah. a professional. <laughs> <laughs> as a professional to tell you more, yeah. to give you more visibility on that. But for the moment of being Linda, yeah. can we start with this question? Um, visa process of yeah. NCIS insurance, can you give us a uh, visibility, a detail about this? Okay. Um, let me see. Is it kindly talk about the visa process and class issuance? How much does student need in their account? Okay, um, Ms. Aroba, the uh, so CAS is really um, more of UK, um, but then um, when it comes to the amount that a student needs to have in their block account, um, they are supposed to have eleven thousand two hundred and eight euros. Um, that is their living expense. Um, um, and this is required, you know, as part of the visa processing to show um, the proof of funds. So um, it's 11,208 euros. That's how much students are supposed to have. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. And then um, let's All see. All right. Uh, can can um, students uh, bring their uh, dependents to Germany? Uh, yes. So, so when it comes to dependents, um, so for instance, ex exactly the same way you have to prove um, finance, you also need to make sure that if you are bringing a spouse, you're bringing um, a child, you you have enough funds to take care of them. So that will be additional money to the 11,200 that you're supposed to have. Um, I probably have to check how much each dependent need to have a bit later, which we'll talk about anyways in our uh, upcoming session. But um, um, it's all about how, how you're going to take care of um, your family when you, you're you bringing them to Germany, because of course it's allowed, but do you have enough funds to bring them along? Or maybe you would want to probably take the lead and then try to build your account to um, how much you need to have. So yes, you can bring your spouse and child or dependent, but um, you need to make sure that you have enough funds that can take care of them. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Uh, Linda, uh... We have a question, three questions actually from Sunday. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, thank you, Sande, for asking those questions. I remember uh, with our last session, uh, you were the one uh, who had many questions. I hope that uh, we can uh, eliminate those today as well. Uh, Linda, <laughs> can a student with a third class H and N D holder apply for a direct master's degree? Um. Let me see. Can I send me the class? I should be hold it. Hope by for a direct master's degree. I so for starters, um, students who are applying for master's degree should make sure that they passed um, at least fifty percent of um, their previous studies. So if it's your bachelor's, you should have passed. I think that's about two point two. So a third class HND, I think would be difficult to go directly to masters. And so most likely they are going to um, um, they, they would likely go on to a bachelor's program, probably with um, um, a foundation course. So admissions will be best to decide on this. But that's what I really think. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and Sandra, for further uh, inquiry, we can always reach out to Linda and we can check with the, our admission team. And um, for the payment plans and scholarships available, this is again uh, some um, uh, dependent uh, questions and it depends to the situation of the uh, student and the and the payment plans are uh, are um, variable uh, to my knowledge. Linda, please uh, add if, if there's anything else. But uh, again, uh, this can be talked uh, offline uh, on the site. And um, any support with the accommodation, uh, Sunday, um, actually, um, Gizma has a great team on that end. And um, for uh, student needs and uh, they are uh, demanding that if student can um, give visibility way before uh, he or she comes to the Germany comes to Germany they can um, not directly enable a place for the student to stay but they can offer uh, they can show direction to some uh, places that student would choose according to uh, her or his needs. So there are options available, but it is vital that if that the student um, would ask that help, uh, that support from the uh, from the Gizma uh, before uh, coming to the country. Yeah. Um, we have a another question, Linda, about IELTS. Um. um <clears throat> okay, um, Dr. Aruba. This question, yeah, this is D1. Uh, I think this is um, what visa type D1 is, Linda? It's a, it's a student visa type, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's related to this. Um, and this is um, this is hoping C six, uh, and I think uh, there are some calls regarding this test. Um, why not taking this uh, question on the side uh, and um, go through uh, in detail? Because uh, right now I uh, can have another general uh, question, and this mm -hmm. is uh, more on uh, interest of everyone. Uh, so yeah. this is about um, bank accounts. Uh, there is a question about bank account, which Linda um, answered as uh, eleven thousand two hundred and eight, right, Linda? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, for the rest of the questions, uh, I think. Uh, for the good of uh, general knowledge, um, we are hold, we are covered every question uh, who which would interest everyone. For more details, must you see Linda's contact mail on the screen? Please reach out to her directly. I'm pretty sure that she will be happy to help you. And yeah. for the question about the slides, um, after the uh, session. 
you get the recording of the session and uh, you can um, reference back to any question or any slide that you need. Uh, and yeah, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Uh, it was a great session, and you uh, thank you for your engagement and your questions. I see a couple of questions are still coming. <laughs> How they are? And uh, please, please, please uh, feel free to reach out to Linda regarding those and have your uh, answers. And next week, we will talk more in depth about the visa processes. And I saw yeah. some um, some questions uh, regarding Nigerian students yeah. and um, for Ghana students. Uh, we will uh, have a special professional next week yeah. that will that he, he she will be helping you uh, clear out your questions on that end. Please don't forget to mark that day on your calendars. Again, at the same time with the session, 21st yeah. of May, we are hoping to see you again. And thank, thank you, you, Linda. It was a great thank session. You. It's always thank a pleasure you. to see you. Yeah, I'm seeing more questions and, and please do reach out to me. I'm so happy and um, to help answer these questions, but please do reach out so that we don't keep the meeting, you know, dragged. Um, other you can move on to do other things. So please send me a mail. I will I will do uh, assist with the um, um, responses. All right. Thank you for joining. Hope to see you Thank next you. week. <laughs> um, you will see yeah. uh, Charles on the screen. Linda's email. This is the first email that you are. A screening linda.adj yeah. at gizmo.com. Okay, yeah. see you next week. Take care. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Bye Thank bye. You. Bye bye. Thanks, Linda.